Our DNA makes us unique. It determines our height, our eye colour, and the genetic disorders many of us are born with. Genetic editing offers us a way to fix those faulty genes, altering our somatic cells, the cells in our organs and tissues, in our skin and eyes. Genetic changes to these cells won't pass on to your children. The problem is when you genetically alter germline cells, the sperm, the egg, or in the case of the Chinese scientist, a fertilized egg at the single cell stage. Those genetic changes are passed on, we still don't know what the consequences could be. At this conference in November, Chinese scientist He Jiankui made an announcement that caused a collective gasp, the birth of the world's first genetically edited babies. He'd altered the CCR5 gene in twin baby girls while they were still in a petri dish to give them protection against HIV. He said he knew he was crossing an ethical line, but he did it anyway. There will be someone somewhere who's doing this. If it's not me, it's someone else. The scientific world responded with condemnation. No babies should be born um, at this point in time following the use of this technology. It's simply too early, too premature. It's a fantastic technology if it's applied to the right application. So for somatic cell editing, that's ed editing cells that um, are adult cells from a fully consenting adult, fantastic technology, and I'm sure we're going to see it progressing into the clinic. But what he did was take this amazing technology and apply it incorrectly. Gene editing trials involve consenting adults, but the twin girls known as Lulu and Nana weren't given a choice. The changes to their genes are likely permanent and with consequences unknown. The technology that they used is extremely error prone and it utilises uh, genetic modification pathways within the cells that pretty much are, are very hard to control and particularly have been known to cause mutations elsewhere in the genome. Dr He used the CRISPR-Cas9 technology not to correct, but to genetically enhance. It raises the spectre of scientists creating so-called designer babies in the lab to potentially make them stronger, faster, smarter even. Many scientists are pushing for clear and transparent guidelines, even advocating a pause until countries can agree on how to meet the challenges of germline editing. A panel of scientists assembled by the World Health Organization is now working on a way forward. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.